good morning everybody so in this lecture what we will do is we'll solve one more problem which is a continuation of the previous lecture all right <clears throat> so let's solve this problem y n plus 2 plus 3 y n plus 1 plus 9 y n equal to the power n with y not equal to y1 equal to 0 using z transform okay right. so what do we do uh, to solve such as differential equation using z transformation simple all that we do is just take the z transformation on both sides right and then follow the algebraic operations that we have to do it uh, let's take that solution taking z transform on both sides So what we get is z of, remember z is linear, so I can write z of y n plus 2 plus 6 times z of y n plus 1 plus 9 times z of y n which is equal to z of 2 to the power n. Okay, yeah. Now let's write what is the formulas that we have going to use it in this particular problem here in this right hand side. You know what is it? If we write z of y n is equal to u of z. Okay. And then uh, because of this, we can write z of y n plus 1 as what? z into u of z minus u naught. Okay. Yeah. So we consider, in fact, probably what we can do is we can write, uh, since this is not written in u n, now we can also probably write something like this. So instead of writing u here, instead of writing u here, instead of writing u here, we can assume that the z of y n is actually y of z, capital Y of z, and hence this is also capital Y of z, and hence this is y naught. Uh, in that way, it will just go with the notations that what we use. So then z of uh, y n plus 2 is z square, so this is the small z, okay, z square into y of z, minus y naught minus y1 into z to the power minus 1. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, what else we need? Of course, we have this, we have this, we have this. And only thing is we need is this. So this is z of 2 to the power n. And what is uh, z of 2 to the power n? Very simple, z divided by z minus 2. Okay, so these are the formulas that we needed. So while starting it, before that, remember, this has to be done. Huh? So let z of uh, y n is equal to y of z then later we can proceed now what is it so z of y n plus 2 as we have noticed here this is z square times y of z minus y naught what is y naught here see y naught is 0 so 0 minus what is y1 here y1 is also 0 and into z to the power minus 1 that's also 0 so plus 6 into y of z y uh, z of y n plus 1 now z of y n plus 1 is this and that is z into y of z minus y naught which is 0. Okay, Then plus 9 times z of y n which is capital Y of z just like that. And this is equal to z of e to the power uh, z of 2 to the power n which is z by z minus 2. That's it. Okay. Now let's simplify this. All that we have to do is let's take the coefficients of e of z, meaning we'll group the y of z terms. That is z square and here one y of z. So that will be 6z. So plus 6z here one y of z term, which is 9. Okay. Into capital Y of z. Then uh, this is 0, this is 0. So there are no more terms. This is also 0. So there are no more terms. Here also no more terms. So which is equal to z divided by z minus 2. Simple problem. Therefore, what we'll do now, uh, as usual, what we will do, usually we write y of z divided by z, because this z has to be bring it down here, so that what we can do is, we can write this as, as z minus 2 into z square plus 6z plus 9 from the left hand side. Now, remember, this we do it just because we don't want the partial fractions to have um, just to 1 divided by z minus 2, z minus 3, etc. Um, because 1 divided by z minus a doesn't have inverse transformation. So 
we pull this uh, z from the left hand side and hence we'll have inverse z transformation and hence we'll find the answer for capital y that's it now let's write this uh, what is z minus z square plus two six z plus nine uh, it seems very easy so this is one divided by z minus two if you solve this which is this is three two into three and this is three square right that means z squared minus uh, so squared plus three uh, not the z square z plus three whole square mm -hmm. Now you know what we have to do with we have to write in terms of partial fractions you can also uh, probably do that in the right hand side so one divided by z minus two into z plus three whole square has to be written in terms of a divided by z minus two plus b divided by z plus three then uh, um what else yeah plus c divided by z plus three whole square so this is how we split them into partial fractions all that we have to do is find out the a b c we have to do one equal to now pull it to the right hand side which will give you z plus three whole square plus b into z minus two into z plus three plus c into z minus two isn't it because you push this to right hand side you will get z minus two gets cancelled in the first term you will get z minus two into z plus three uh, sorry z plus 3 get cancelled so that z minus 2 into z plus 3 retains and z minus z plus 3 whole square will get cancelled here and then z plus z minus 2 will be retained that's the idea now this is the expression that you have now you know that this is uh, uh, valued this is valid for every z uh, possible therefore what we can do is we can substitute z equal to some values and hence we can find out the abc so find out abc so that's an exercise for you now um, what I will do is I will straight away write the answer here. So what is the answer? Meaning what is the partial fractions right now we have got? So this is, this can be written as 1 divided by 25 times 1 divided by z minus 2 minus 1 divided by z plus 3 uh, minus 5 divided by z plus 3 whole square. So we should be able to do this. Right? So it should not be a difficult job. Uh, now we have got all the partial fractions for this so this implies y of z equal to now i can pull now i can push this z to this side so therefore this would be 1 divided by 25 times z by z minus 2 minus z by z plus 3 minus 5 z by z plus 3 whole square so that's the answer now what we can do all that we wanted was this y so uh, in fact, uh, yeah, all that we wanted was this y. So how do you find out the z y? How do you find out this capital Y here? Simple, simple. Taking inverse z transform on both sides, what we get. So because we assume that y of z is the, um, because we assume that y of z is the z of u n, so z of y n, so inverse z transformation of y of z would be y n itself. So therefore, the left hand side will give you the simply y n is equal to uh, the right hand side will give you one divided by twenty five times inverse z transformation of z by z minus two. Okay, let me put a big bracket here. Minus inverse z transformation of z divided by z plus three minus 5 times inverse z transformation of z by z plus 3 whole square okay yeah now what is the answers now you have got all the answers here as well right so what is the inverse z transformation of z by z minus 2 which is simply 2 to the power n okay so this is 2 to the power n and minus minus 3 whole to the power n minus 5 um Remember here is 5 here, right? So what we can do is uh, we can write this as um, yeah, we can probably write this as minus 3. I, what I will do is I'll write it in different color. So what I will do is I will introduce one minus 3 here and divide by minus 3 here. And hence, this is actually is no more having a different value. So, same as that of original value. And because of that, what we know is now, 
inverse the transformation of a is it let, let's note this clearly here so because we know that inverse the transformation of a z divided by z minus a whole square is actually equal to n into a to the power right so this formula we have already seen in user transformations therefore we can use that so that's all that's why this adjustment has been done now because of that adjustment then what we can do is this is nothing but of course minus and minus gets cancelled so plus 5 by 3 times n into um a to the power n here a is 3 so 3 into 3 to the power n right n into 3 to the power n all right yeah that's all that's all the answer so this yn is actually equal to 1 divided by 25 times 2 to the power n minus minus 3 to the power n plus 5 by 3 times n into 3 to the power n okay fine so that's all the solution is because here the solution is well of course see uh, this problem in the next uh, video we'll revise what we have done in the present video so here what we did is we wanted to solve this problem and the solution was simply assuming that capital y of z is your z transformation of y n what we did is simple just take the z transformation on both sides and then it came uh, an expression like this and we utilized the y naught value and y1 value which was given in the question which is zero in both the cases so therefore it became so simple now all that we had is simple since y naught and y nuns are zero we had only y of z terms so we grouped them and then uh, the z square plus 6 z plus 9 has been pushed to the right hand side and we factorize that and while factorizing it was simple it is again z plus 3 whole square now we also identified z is not a suitable term to keep it in the right hand side before we take the partial fractions just because we don't want them to be having 1 by z minus a anyway because everywhere yeah because inverse the transformation doesn't exist for 1 minus z minus a so therefore we keep the z in the right left hand side itself so we pull this uh, we push this uh, z to this left hand side and then we'll keep the other terms in the right hand side and we partial fraction those terms that gives you 1 divided by z minus 2 minus 1 divided by z plus 3 minus 5 divided by z plus 3 whole square uh, then we push the z to the right hand side then take the inverse z transformation on both sides and inverse the transformation of each term gave me this answer and hence the answer for this difference equation is 1 divided by 25 into 2 to the power n minus minus 3 to the power n plus 5 by 3 times n into 3 to the power n all right okay so that's all for this video and we'll see you in the next video thank you guys